in a wild boar country and as you can see there are a lot of shrubs and high grasses and wild boars they love it to be around here so I really have to watch out when I go through this patch of wilderness and our aim is to get to the river at the other side of the forest All right, folks, so I just found a couple of wild edibles. In this case, we have found some thistles. And there are many varieties of thistles that you can eat. In this case, we have found a thistle which has purple flowers. You can eat the entire bud just like this, or you can cook it up, you know, roast it over a fire or throw it into a stew. And some people say that it tastes a little bit similar to artichoke. Mm. It's really good actually. Another part of this plant that you can eat is the stem, which is covered in spikes. So you need to remove the spikes with your knife, like so. Just make sure that you really have removed all of the spikes and then you can eat it. Okay, now I'm going to collect a couple of these buds and later, you know, have them as lunch. Okay, I just found a burdock plant and burdock has a big root or more roots which contain a lot of carbohydrates and yeah, I want to dig out the root and take it with me. Alright, so I got this root here, which is pretty long and yeah, that's quite a lot of food for a wild edible, so burdock is really one wild edible which makes, you know, a really good amount of carbohydrates, which is not so easy to find in the wilderness, so this is a very good and big chunk of food. Okay, I just found this tree here, which got damaged and peeled by a deer and usually the deer comes in springtime and they have this velvet on their antlers and they try to rub it off against the tree and that's how they damage the trees so it's really important that they keep the deer population to an amount where it's still okay for the forest I'm going to take the bark with me which is already dead and it's pretty fine so for me it's going to be a good tinder for fire making I found a good piece of firewood here. This tree is dead, well, half dead. It broke down because of the wind. And yeah, the branches here have been dead for a long time. And you can tell that by, you know, cracking them. And if you hear that cracking sound, then you can tell that it's a very dry wood. And yeah, that's awesome firewood. And I'm going to come back to this place later and get some firewood. Okay, um, as you can see the river is pretty high, so it's still a little bit flooded, you know. So I'm thinking about making a shelter, but I don't want to have the shelter right here because, yeah, it's maybe too dangerous in the night, so I think it's best if we go back a couple of meters. And that, by the way, was a beaver. We just have found a place to stay overnight. We are a little bit above the river and yeah, seems pretty safe. I'm going to make my camp here in the shadow.
I have to secure the targets with some stones. That's going to be my seed. Okay, now well, let's go and make some firewood or collect some firewood. And I'm going to take my empty backpack with me so that I can throw the firewood in here. bone dry and it's ash wood which is very hard so when you burn this wood here it's going to burn for a very long time back back full with wood awesome Nice door. <laughs> it's not much firewood. I have to go and get more later on. But first I want to prepare a bow drill set. Okay, I just found a couple of dead branches of aspen trees. Aspen is very soft wood and it's the perfect wood for the bow drill. Spindle and board is ready and next I'm going to need a bow and I need much more dry tingle. That's my bow. It's a little bit over my arm's length and that's perfect for bow drilling. It shouldn't be too heavy but it should be thick enough so that it doesn't break and this one flexes a little bit which is also great for the bow as the bow drill. This is not the driest tinder so I have to find some fine dry tinder. This grass is not bad.
got an amber at my first try. Amazing. Okay, time to roast up my burdock root, but first I have to clean it up. You could eat the root raw, but it's better when you throw it into the fire. Okay, I think the root is done. It's a little bit burnt here at the other side, but that's okay. Not bad at all. And it has a lot of carbohydrates, so it's a premium survival food. It's really late now and yeah it has gotten pretty cold so it's time to go to bed and yeah I hope that my sleeping bag is warm enough oh. it's unbelievable the moisture gets into every compartment of my baggage roll and onto everything, you know? So everything is a little bit moist. Okay. I'm in my sleeping bag with all of my clothes. And yeah, this sleeping bag is good for minus one degree Celsius comfort zone. So I think I'm going to be fine with this sleeping bag. That's it guys, good night, we see us tomorrow. Good morning guys, still in my sleeping bag and I slept fantastic. Cameraman is still sleeping.
So I think that the fireplace is perfectly camouflaged and now I can leave and for me it's important that you leave nothing but footprints. Yeah guys, so this is it. I want to thank you for watching. I had an awesome trip again and now I really need a shower. So if you want to support my channel in any way, you can do so by buying some Survival Lily t-shirts. You will find the link in the description below. Stay tuned till next time.